music, the changes and the impacts. Uh. Overview. Before I stepped foot into Shijo, I had my mind set on studying bi minority music. For the next 20 days, I researched and did field work on what turned out to be this final product. It turned out that my topic was too broad, therefore, I narrowed it to focus on the changes bi music has gone through and the role of. My thesis is. Two important aspects of understanding the role of bi minority music in the village are the impact of the movie Five Golden Flowers and the role that music plays in people's lives. The changes in music traditional and non traditional. Traditional music. Here's an example of a traditional flute solo. <laughs> of the London Center. Traditional music. Traditional music is simpler than non-traditional music. What I mean by this is that there are less ornaments and it's less embellished. It is non-regulated. An example of this is if you were a singer singing traditional music. You could sing however long you wanted and you could make up whatever lyrics you wanted but you had to follow the melody. It was usually a boy and a girl singing together. The girl would answer what the boy sang, and the boy would answer what the girl sang. Traditional music originated from the Tang Dynasty. It is now rarely practiced in towns and cities, where you can you can find traditional music on the mountains near the lake Urhai. Traditional music is written in jampu form. Jampu is numbers instead of notes and staves. It reflects against Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do. It is more free, as in there were no rules. This is a video of the Donji Music Band that I took at the London Center when they performed. The Donji Music Band plays music that is a mix of traditional and non-traditional music. It is the closest I could find to just traditional music. <laughs> of traditional music. There are rules, there are lyrics, and there is a piece of music that musicians can read. Before, musicians learn music from each other. Now they have a written form of that music. It is a combination of traditional styles of music, meaning that the co one composer took the best of each style and combined them together. It is originated from the movie Five Golden Flowers in 1959. It is seen and heard everywhere, meaning that this style is really what the tourists know as by music. It is also embellished. This is a video that I took of a performance at a commercial center in Shijiao. This commercial center targets tourists. It is completely non-traditional music and serves tea with the performances. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Potter was lip-syncing the movie Five Golden Flowers. This movie carries a lot of weight, especially when discussing the changes of bi music. The movie Five Golden Flowers came out in 1959 during the Great Leap Forward. The Great Leap Forward was an economic and social campaign by the Communist Party of China from 1958 to 1961. This campaign led, the great Chi led to the Great Chinese Famine. The movie was supposed to tell about how rich and beautiful Dali and Xu Zhu were, despite taking place during one of the toughest times of China. This movie was a great milestone because it changed the style of music and dance. The composer of the pieces in the movie was named Lei Jumba. He took the best parts of many different styles of traditional music and fused them together, creating a whole new embellished style of music. Lei Jim Bang traveled around Dali and recorded the music in Do Re Mi Fa So La Ti Do form. Before, locals learned music from each other. Now, there was a written down copy of this music. Lei Jim Bang also developed music theory for this area. This clip is the beginning of the Five Golden Flowers movie. The scene takes place in Dali Yunnan in the midst of the March Festival. Ms. Duan is part of the Dongji music band. She also owns a local yarn shop. Ms. Duan told me, Music and dance these past few years have been my hobby. It is hard to avoid since music and dance have been in my family forever. It has made me happier and I enjoy dance very much. Since I damaged my leg, it has been hard, become harder to dance. It has become part of my life. Mr. Jaw. Mr. Jaw is the leader of the Dongji music band. He has recently been nominated for an award for being a folk artist. He stated, 
I was inspired to learn music when I saw elders practicing traditional music when I was young. I play many instruments and enjoy playing all of them. Music is my hobby and my career. Mr. Doan. Mr. Doan is an 88-year-old man who learned how to play music when he was in the army. He has an extensive instrument collection and it was just amazing hearing him play. He started scratching out notes, but then the melody just spilled out. It was truly spectacular. He told me that playing music makes him feel as if he is in heaven, that there is not a better feeling in the world. Emotional and mental impact. Music can change people emotionally and mentally. Music can make people happy and change their way of thinking. Music, I have discovered, is not just sound. It is happiness, a way of expressing thoughts and emotions, and much, much more. These are the four words that Mr. Doan wrote to describe how he feels when he plays music. In Chinese, they are Xing Quang Shen Yi. It means happiness, relaxed, amazed. This is how I feel when I play music. I would like to give credit to Ms. Duan, Mr. Duan, Mr. Zhao, Mr. Doan, and the Doan Music Band for being my local sources. I would also like to thank Mr. T, Ms. Mai, and Shantan for being there and helping me translate. Photo credit goes to me and Christina. Video credit will go to me and the movie Five Golden Flowers. Acknowledgements. I'd like to thank the following people for helping me throughout this journey. Mr. T for always being there and giving us really, really good advice. Ms. Mai for helping me translate and being there whenever I was hurt or sick. Shaltan for being the person who knows everybody and helping us, helping me translate. Faye for being there to help me translate and make better sense of what people were saying. Ms. Duan, for letting me into your home and letting me interview you about your life as a musician. Mr. Jaw, for letting me interview you and for inviting me to your concert, where I learned a lot. Mr. Don, for letting me see you play and letting me hold some of your instruments. I learned a lot about music during the Cultural Revolution and what it was like. The Dongjing Music Band for letting me watch their performances and interview them. The Dynamite Group for giving me all of those laughs and those amazing moments to remember. I would have never gotten here without all of you. The Linden Family for letting us stay in this beautiful, beautiful compound and for letting us have access to the Linden Center. My friends for being so supportive and listening while I go on and on about how amazing Microcampus is and for letting me know how school is. My teachers for being patient and giving out reasonable assignments and helping me learn while I'm here. And my parents who funded this amazing experience and without them I would never be here right now. Thanks for listening.